Men's talent and style, Ruth Cracknell fell in love with acting age 20. And theatre-goers fell in love with her, whether she was on stage, screen or radio. Hello, Arthur. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just spraying these uh, yeah, aphids. Australia's first lady of theatre, Ruth Cracknell, was renowned for her dignity, passion and stamina. But it was a television role that came late in her life of manipulative Maggie Bear in the ABC series Mother and Son that made her a much-loved household name. But she elevated it to, um, to something that uh, um, told us a lot about the human condition but uplifted us at the same time. Ruth Cracknell was born in Maitland on the 6th of July 1925. She began acting in radio at the age of 20. Her 56-year career was marked by extraordinary diversity, from the classics to Australian drama. Today, some of the people she worked with gathered to pay tribute. The dignity, I think, that she brought to our industry in this country. Are you awake? As she approached her 70s, Ms oh, Cracknell was breaking down yes. boundaries daring to appear nude in the Australian movie Spider and Rose. Ruth Cracknell was never afraid to speak out on social and political issues, including justice for Aborigines. It's an extraordinary feeling to suddenly get this sense of shame about a place that one has passionately loved for, in my case, a very, very long lifetime. It was in the theatre that Ruth Cracknell met her greatest love, Eric Phillips. Their marriage lasted 41 years until his death in 1998. Ordinary daughters. The stage beckoned her again, and though still grieving, she appeared in a little night music. Life goes on, and life has to go on, but no, I, I don't know when grieving ends, it won't, ever. She received many awards, including the inaugural Helpman Award for her outstanding contribution to the performing arts. Ruth Cracknell died in a Sydney nursing home last night, age 76. Anne-Maria Nicholson, ABC News.